Hello everybody and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon of Farewell's Progression, the new save file. Uh, in the previous episode, we played as the pilot and we went and unlocked the little robot character here. If you don't know what the robot does, he's acts with an incredibly powerful kit with his robot's left hand, I believe it is. Um, or is it right hand? I can never remember. Uh, the robot's right hand, sorry, yes. Uh, and he also has the coolant leak and battery bullets. He's very strong, but he has one thing that's very, very different and very dangerous about him. He can only pick up armor. So he takes a full... Technically, it's like him taking a full heart of damage every time he takes uh, a hit. Which makes him a lot less survivable than the other, uh, the other members of the crew. But he is also a lot stronger to start. Battery bullets um, will take water and uh, electrify it, dealing more damage. But it will also give him a massive accuracy up. That's another... Opening blue chest right off the bat yet again. We're getting lots of chest drops. We got a lot last run as well But yeah, his pistol is so unbelievably good to start with it's probably one of the best starting pistols Even maybe better than the gunslingers. I'd, I'd maybe argue just because of the mag size It's really enjoyable to use but yeah, so we're gonna trips along with this guy if we can hopefully make it through this first floor without getting hit and get our flawless and all that jazz we should basically be set for the rest of the run i think if you don't flawless the first floor boss you maybe have some issues in in bringing yourself back from that because you've technically not only lost out on the one hit of armor that you take but you've also lost out on the flawless so that's two pieces of armor you, you are behind where you should be and i feel like armor's hard to come by so that can be a little bit hard to come back from but i think as long as we get that flawless we should be fine here also, we really don't need to worry about the um, fireplace water because we have our own source of water in the coolant leak. We're actually going to use that now. As we see here, look, it electrifies the water. It does a decent amount of damage. It's not tons. Of course, hearts are completely useless to us, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, the bullet has had many buffs in the past, especially with fail to arms, that make him a little more fair. And even to the playing field, it allows him to use shrines that require HP and a few other things like that that, it that before didn't work. And when you pick up a heart-based item, it normally gives him some casings. So it kind of even the, evens the playing field, but still keeps him fairly difficult. They did uh, at one point buff it so that he got um, two armor from every flawless, but they, they actually decided that was too strong, which I agree with. I personally think the... Uh, the difficulty spike of the of the robot is fun. The way he stands now is is enjoyable. He is difficult without being ridiculous, uh, and his kit makes up for the difficulty of his starting HP. So I I, I really do like where he stands right now, uh, and I'm I'm happy they left it the way it is. It's it's a little more enjoyable, and just for people like me, adds that little bit of extra challenge. He's one of my favorite characters probably. I like the marine more in terms of just all roundedness, but this guy is just it's just fun fun to play i don't actually play him as much as i as much as i would like just because he's a risky character to play especially if you're trying to go for like streaks and you're trying to get a lot of wins he can be quite risky because like i said sometimes um a wrong move can can set you back quite far but he does do insane damage when combined with his coolant leak so our chests this floor are relatively bad um we're again we're not gonna go for the elevator man until we've completed both the bullets and the robots past so right now i'm just gonna go and open a chest just this one here and we got the winchester which is rather nice and will serve as a decent boss killer the winchester is a fairly low ammo shotgun but it's got pretty good accuracy made even better with the robots um battery bullets passive and it's got pretty good damage as well so happy to have it as you can see it's uh it's doing a right old job on this guy So we do want to be focusing on just one twin here. There's no point focusing on two of them at once. So I'm going to try and make my way back over to this guy. Finish him off. And there you go. We got him. Once you've got one guy, it makes it a bit easier. That was a real bad roll by me there, by the way. But the Winchester sorted us out. And we actually unlocked the sling in the last episode and got it in this episode. So very nice. It does seem to me that um, with Gungeon, you have a higher chance of picking up items that you've recently unlocked. And that has been proven true by the sling that we just got here. If you didn't know what the sling does, it's mainly a boss killer. It just fires little rocks, but it does extra damage to bosses. It actually does more damage to bosses than it does to anyone else. Uh, and that's really nice. Really, no, I didn't get junk there. That's really nice, actually, because... Um, because it's going to be a great boss killer for us. Another thing as well, if you didn't know about the robot, the robot actually gets a 5% damage upgrade. I believe it now references it in one of his weapons or something like that. In, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, is it weapon? It, 
let's have a look, see here. Yeah, apparently it says it in here. Uh, infinite ammo does not reveal secret walls. The right hand of an assault robot that fled to the gungeon while well by the robot, combined with junk to increase all damage output. Yeah, 5% damage upgrade for every piece of junk you hold. That applies to every gun, not just your, um, not just your infinite ammo pistol. It applies to every single gun you have. So it's very, very important to junk chests when you're not going to open them. So it's actually kind of annoying that we didn't get junk out of that first chest there. This could even be the first time we get junk and depending on how many chests we come across. So basically blue chests and brown chests I'm going to be junking more often than not because the damage upgrade is actually more valuable. But here we are down to the oubliette. We've got nothing particularly we need to do this run. So it's just going to be play it and play it well. That was almost a hit there. This is a bad room. Bad room. Did not like that. Like I said, we do have the Winchester for, for more tricky rooms. But yeah, yeah you are going to notice that unfortunately... Yeah, I'm definitely going to take out the... Oh, I knew I was going to get hit there. As soon as I paused time to switch weapon... I, unfortunately, I switched to the wrong weapon. I switched to the sling. And I think that actually cost me getting hit there. Right, I didn't like that at all. That was a, that was more ammo than I had to, than I wanted to use, but that was a lot of enemies in a very very close quarters bit of combat there. But it's fine. It's it's genuinely it's okay. We should be we should be okay. So certain enemies, in my opinion, are going to require the use of the shotgun, even if that does mean fighting the boss. There's no flawless reward. The good thing about playing as the robot is, although you can't get flawlesses from the secret floor bosses, you can still get armor as drops. So. Technically, you can get flawlesses. It just doesn't come from flawlessing the boss. You can get the same reward as a flawless without having done the flawless. We've got a mimic here, which is really nice. Helps out a lot. Saves us a key. Don't know why we've got a mimic, actually. We've got no curse. We've got the infuriating note. That's fantastic. You may think, why am I excited about getting an item that does nothing? We need to get these infuriating notes, like, ticked off the list, basically. Because um, they need to be unlocked uh, so that we can actually go down to the rat floor and, and do the, all the stuff down there. Although I am pretty sure the um, the code, as you would call it, the um, the combination of uh, like pathing through the maze is the same across all of your save files. It is still nice to have them all out of the way. With it. I'm going to take this here just because it is a free piece of armor. A lot of people forget about that. But yes, yeah, a free piece of armor we can take there. Helps us out quite a lot. Good, good. I think we set ourselves up in a better position here. we we'll take out you. And we can probably finish the rest of this room off with this itchy head. Don't know why I get so itchy when I'm playing Gungeon. But yeah. Feeling a bit better about that now. Oh, oh, this guy needs to go. This guy's gotta go. And the grenades as well. But yeah, so buying armor is something that I tend not to do too much on this guy, but it really does depend on how much I've been hit that run. If I've been hit a lot that run, or more than I think is appropriate for the stage of the game that I'm at, then yes, I, I will uh, I will tend to buy a bit of armor. So I might buy one this floor, if there's one available, just to make up for the fact that I did, uh, I did get hit when I really shouldn't have done. I shouldn't really be getting hit for the first three floors, including that includes the Ubliette, in my opinion. Uh, that that's kind of my threshold of like where I should be getting hit and where I shouldn't be. I'm gonna try and go around this room. Got a secret room here as well. Worthless, absolutely worthless. Sad times. That can be the case sometimes. Fortunately, flying enemies don't get affected by the electrified water because do you know what? They fly. That's why. In case you were wondering, in case, in case you were thinking, but why? Why don't flying enemies get hit by ground-based damage? That's why. I keep doing the whole straw man argument thing, making people over my head and pretending like they're arguing back at me, when literally none of you were questioning that. There was literally not a single... That's bad. There was not a single one of you out there that's going, but, but, turtle. Ooh. No. Didn't happen. Right. Let's, uh, take a key here. We'll open this up straight away. Mass shotgun. We just unlocked that as well, so again goes to prove the theory uh, and we'll probably use that on the boss actually if we can get in the right range. Do you know what? No, we'll use the sling because the sling's great. I'm going to use the one ammo there as well but use the sling because the sling's great. I completely forgot about that when using the Winchester that we had the sling available to us and how much armor do we have sitting there? I'll buy one I think that's worthwhile 
Right. But you'll see how much damage for literally a thing that throws rocks at people. How much damage the sling really does. It's insane. Of course, the um, the water doesn't particularly work against this boss because he does put out his own goo. Meaning that like he overwrites the, any, any goop or water that we place down. I'm going to get hit here. I'm just going to move out the way there. Bad corner to be in. My fault. Wow, he likes this attack today, doesn't he? He likes this attack today. But yeah, as you can see, the ammo efficiency of the sling is insanely good. Let's get back to this corner out here. Almost got hit there. Also, you do get an additional bit of bonus damage if you bounce a shot off against the wall. I tend not to do that unless it's against the dragon, though, because I just feel like it's too difficult to hit. Uh, but, oh, and another item we just unlocked. Proving the theory. It's definitely a thing. If you unlock an item, you're much, much more likely to get it in the future. Let's hope that we unlock clones. So we should get clone at some point. Uh, right. Anything else we want here? By the way, the heroine's amazing. It's a three charge weapon. So it charged once and then twice. I meant twice, not two, not three charge, two charge. And on the second charge, oh my god, second charge. It does like a hell of a lot of damage, like 80, I think. Kills most things in one hit. It's going to be a really good room clearer for us. But anyways, there's nothing else we need on this floor, so let's head down to the next one. And already, this is setting us out in a pretty, pretty good uh, situation for doing the past here. I got a good feeling about this one. Okay, he fired in the complete wrong direction there, but congratulations, mate. If you don't fully charge it enough, it does... Not that much damage at all, so you've got to like make sure it gets to its second level of charge. But look at that, one shotting that enemy, beautiful. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a truly brilliant room clearer that's incredibly ammo efficient. Now the charges are long, so you do have to like be prepared for that. But most people, it shouldn't bother. There you go. Look at this, beautiful. Still, still no capekins. Two shots for the big guys as well. And a key. Oh, it's all coming up, Millhouse. Take out them guys. Might as well just take out you. Oh, no, nope, you're, you're flying away. I want to be able to one-shot you at a distance. I got you with my heroin. Not heroin the drug. Don't stand on the spikes. I always forget this room has lots of spikes. And I always hurt myself on them. It's stupid. Don't do it. Don't do it, kids. I'm going to have to just open that because it's a synergy chest. And we got a synergy. Heavy bullets plus mass shotgun. I already know. Do you know what? I'm not going to go to that floor. I'm not going to go to that floor. There's just... The, the boss is difficult. I don't want to deal with it. Oh, okay. I was going to say I'm not really going to get a chance to use my mass shotgun, but now I am. Shot, the mass shotgun, basically, you've got to, like, get within, a pr like, the exact right damage range. But when you do, it does insane damage, as you can see. We just unlocked Cursed Bullets. Oh, boy, I love Cursed Bullets so much. Cursed Bullets is one of my most favourite items in the game. Probably my most favourite item in the game. Um, I've got an idea. Let's let's see how this pans out, shall we? Uh, right. I am the robot, so I don't want to take it too far, but... I'll see how this goes. But by the way, heavy bullets is going to slow down our bullet projectiles, but increase our damage. It's pretty decent. I like having it. Right. I'll complete this floor, and then I've kind of got an idea. It might be terrible. It might get us killed. I really hope it doesn't. Because if it doesn't, it'll make us more powerful than you can ever imagine. We've also got a shrine here. Fallen hero shrine. It's so tempting. It's a 25% damage upgrade for two armor, I think. I'll see. I'll see. I think it's like you get like 2.5 cares from it as well. Let me check, actually. Um, shrines. Shrine, 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 shrines. Let's give it a Google. I've already got the wiki up and ready. Shrine. There's nothing for shrine. There is something for shrine. Don't lie to me. Uh, where would it be? The Gungeon? Is it just in the Gungeon? Hmm. 
I thought there was a thing for shrines. Uh, NPCs, unlockables, objects. Is it on objects? No. Shrines. There you go. See shrines. Okay. The Fallen Hero removes one heart container or two armor. Increases damage by 25% and increases cast by 1.5. So it will remove two armor. We have to be prepared for that. I'm going to use this for a bit. This thing fires so fast as well. It's insane. Oh, God. If we don't get hit this floor and we get the flawless, I'll go for it. Because it's that 25% damage upgrade is really, really nice. It truly is. I really hope I didn't forget to destroy a chest in the last floor. I don't think I did. I think I either opened or destroyed them all, didn't I? Maybe I'm forgetting. I am a forgetful boy, to be fair. What have you got to offer? Table tech blank. That's nice. Uh... Quite a quite an array of stuff in here, in this uh, this floor here. Getting a lot more NPCs than normal. Don't know what that's about, but can't complain. Cannot complain at all. Right. right that should have killed most of them books. I think it killed all of them. Yep, yeah, it did. Nice. <laughs> I was like, there's, there's normally like four books down there that come towards you, uh, and they all just just got melted. Absolutely melted inos. Right. This is probably one of the harder ones. Yeah, I'm not very good at this one, so maybe I won't go for that. Uh, right. So let's try and flawless the boss first, and see where we see where we can go from there. I want to try and get some mass shotgun damage going. It is only the Gorgon, so... God damn, that mass shotgun damage is good. Mass shotgun damage is good. Oh, God damn it! Don't screw me! Gorgon! Or Medusa, as people call you. There you go. We got her. Please give us a piece of armor. Damn, no armor. Still. We're still fine. Got the cult. Right. So. I will use the shrine. It's risky, but I'm going to do it. It's very risky. Right. Now, I'm going to destroy this chest for, for junk. Open this up and destroy this chest for junk. May seem dumb, but a 10% damage upgrade is worth a lot to us. Uh, right, then... Oh boy, this is a risky trap. I'm going to take this. I'm going to use it. And I'm going to steal the Nord Key. Which gives us a bit of curse, but it also allows us to use the Nord Key on the next floor. Then I'm going to pick my barrel, uh, my, my water coolant, back up. I'm going to leave, I'm going to go over towards this guy and try this out, and then the next floor I'm going to try and go down to the, uh, I'm going to try and go down to the extra floor. Now, this first one should be fairly easy, if I remember correctly, it's pretty easy to get. There we go. The slowed down bullets is actually terrible for us. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? Can we not, uh... We'll put up our map while we're in this. I don't think we can. We can't. Dr we can't drop anything while we're in this. I thought we could. Right. So this is gonna be really hard to do with with heavy bullets. It's getting the timing right. It's just gonna be a pain in the ass. Yes, got that guy. I got the wrong one, but it's fine. Got another one. And then this guy's always a pain. I never know how to hit him right. Let's just see if this works. Yes, flawless. And we got the the uh, the Deckard. Deckard's pretty good. Right, we got everything we need from this floor, I think. Let's head down to the next one. See how this goes. So we got to remember we we are on two point five curse now. We are on two point five curse. So I'm hoping the code is still the same. And we don't need to get all the infuriating notes, and we can actually just cheese this and go and beat the rat now. That'd be really nice. Getting the rat done in, in the same run, but then again, I am worried about my HP. 
I don't really have enough HP, or at least what I'd say is enough HP to do this. But then again, we have insanely good damage now. Insanely good. Like, a lot higher than, than what you'd normally have at this stage. Because we've got, like, 15% extra from the, um, from the junk that we got. And then we've got an extra 25% from the shrine. So, we're in a good spot in that, in terms of that sense. Here's our rat room. Nice. We're going to get some jammed enemies now. Got to be careful for that. Come here, you. So, we've got to find our little door here. It's right here, look. Open that up a little later. Actually, we'll go do that now. So, just so I don't forget. Go use our blanks and everything. I'm pretty sure there's an unlock just for opening the grate and going down here as well. So this will be a first for us too. And we can use our key on this. Cool. Cool. We've, we're gonna we're gonna get some double progression here. Now, I'm just, like I said, I'm just a bit worried about my HP. I hope I can get a flawless on this floor. That will make things a lot better for us. If I don't get hit on this floor and I get a flawless, I'll feel a lot more confident. Even just one extra piece of armor is going to make a difference. I'm just using this thing because it fires really fast. And honestly, it's a pretty weak gun normally. It's just proving how, like, good this is. And getting a key there is also really huge for us. Really huge. Because it just leads into, um... Ah! Leads into us being able to get some more loot and prepare for this rat fight. The main reason I like kind of want to do it as well is we have the sling, which is like a bona fide boss killer that's like gonna serve us perfectly fine. How are you not dead? Come on, there you go. Finally. Finally. Literally, you can just fire then duck for cover. Nice, that was beautiful. And we got a cell door key as well here. Please don't require a key. Wait, what? <laughs> that was a bit glitchy. I went to I went to catch it and it's just like, nope. I'm out of here. I'm outie. Yeah, hopefully this doesn't require a key to get into, because that'd be a pain. We should be okay though. Even if it does. Might be able to buy him from the shop. Come here, laser boy. Come here, laser boy. We don't really need the ruby bracelet. We do have a key in the shop there, though. Exactly what I was just talking about. This guy's going to be a pain in the ass. Got him. Frog boy. Guy of the tree, frog boy. Frog boy. This guy will hit us if I don't get behind this pillar. Oh, my God. Thank you, Deckard. Deckard is really overpowered. Has very, very low ammo though, so... Not the greatest in that sense. Nice. It's insane how much DPS we got right now. Our damage is booming. Absolutely boom, boom, boom the room. Knockback's pretty mega from the heavy bullets. Oh, I forgot we got the damage boost bonus from the heavy bullets as well as everything else. It's all stacking up. Okay, we're out of ammo on this thing, so let's go back to Winchester. Cool. Take out Frog Boys. Actually, take out you first. We got the ammo of the Pit Lord there. Nice. I think that's, that's for knocking an enemy. Oh, something I haven't done yet as well. Something I should definitely do. I right, need to die. Yeah, wait a minute. I, I'll, I'll kill these enemies first and then I'll do it. No caped bulletkin yet either. Sad times on that front. Sad times on that front indeed. Right. Hey, table tech rocket unlocked. I forgot about that. Nice. Get a red chest there. Beautiful. Love me a red chest. This will probably be our cell door room. No. Oh, it does require a key as well. God damn it. 
It's always annoying when it requires a key. I shouldn't have to pay for something like that. It's, it's story. I said story progression. It's like game progression. I shouldn't have to pay a key for that. I'll take that. That would be like if the elevated man sometimes required a key for you to get in there and then required the objectives on top of that. Like, bullshit. Don't have to deal with that shit. Let's just complete the floor there. Still got one more room over here. I'll probably just destroy that blue chest for the hopefully junk that we'll get from it. How is that enemy still even alive? Okay, we got him. Don't worry about it. So we'll destroy this. Give me junk. Thank God. Thank the Lord. And we'll buy a key from here. We'll buy the armor as well. We might as well go for that. Open this up, see what we get. Bullet bore is absolutely fine. We'll go and open this as well. This is all going pretty swimmingly. Pretty swimmingly. I'll probably just use the uh, the decker here to make sure we preserve our sling ammo. Hey! It's a key guy. This guy sells some great stuff in his shop, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have him. He, he does cost keys to use, but he's, he's very nice. Having an explosive weapon against this guy is also really nice. This guy can have some uh, attacks that basically require explosive weapons to, to get through well. This isn't good. Like this one here. There we go. That becomes so much easier with an explosive weapon. It's insane how much easier it is. Can you stop throwing all your claymores out, please? They're really, really annoying. Really, really annoying. Do some of your easy attacks. Like this one. This one's super easy. Just stand in the little gap between it both. There you go. Nice easy flaws. People will complain about that boss constantly, but I find him particularly easy. And we got the Voidmaster shotgun, which is basically like a slightly better version of the Winchester, so I'm happy to have that. Uh, and then we will go down to our rat floor and see how this goes. This might go terribly. It might not even let us through. We might have to have the infuriating nurse before this is actually possible. I don't know. But let's find out, shall we? Let's find out together. Our health is still a little bit low, in my opinion, for the rat fight. I, I have I have in, in the past been hit by the rat many, many times. But we might be alright. I'll I'll just opt for using as many blanks as I can. I think I only have two though, don't I? Maybe I have three. No, I only have two. We had unlocked. Watch out for jammed rats. Right, right, up, up, left, left is the normal. The normal way to go for me. Will that be the same way? Let's find out. Something tells me no. Poop on attack is worst. So that's one right. Good, good, good. There's also just some rooms in here that are a pain in the ass too. Jammed rat, jammed rat. Jammed rats can deal contact damage. Be very, very careful of them. They're a pain in the ass. Could de very well take damage on this room here. Thank god we didn't there. Oh my god, there's so many of these things. We've been right twice, then up, up, then left, left. Oh my god. And then that's, this is the second up. Right, let's, what's our best damage dealer here? I need to take care of the skeleton real quick. Okay, god damn it. Bullet ball, do it. Good. Right, now left, left. Go with this thing.
Good, good. Yeah, it's gone. Come on, please say this works. <laughs> it does! Ha ha ha! Get cheesed, game! Get cheesed! Huzzah! You can cheese the game. Right, so... I reckon this first phase we go with Sling, and the second phase we probably go with Mass Shotgun. And we just be very, very careful in this first phase. This first phase can be a real pain. Especially this attack right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I used a blank there. It may seem hasty, but... I'm very glad I did. Oh my god. His one of his fucking traps was hidden in the wall. You bastard. As long as we don't get hit more than twice in this phase, I'm, I'm happy. Two hits is fine. More than two hits is a bit too many. Good. We got him. Right, I'm, I'm pretty happy now. I'm pretty confident that we can beat the rat here. But we, we actually beat the rat early, which is nice. Or at least, hopefully, we have. Uh, we beat the rat early, which is really, really nice. Really good to get that done before we're meant to. Oh, God. It's set on fire a little bit there. So this is the one attack I will definitely blank every time. That attack is super annoying. This attack's normally fine. I'll get the sling out though, just because it's a little longer distance. Oh, I, I messed it up really bad. Luckily, the good thing about the um, the robot is whenever we get hit, it ends his attack. Which is really nice. This attack's normally fine. It depends on oh, depends on the RNG of how the rockets play out. Luckily, that one was fine. And here you see, we're basically almost done. Oh god, we've got we've got a, a fucked up situation here though. That was guaranteed damage. That there was lingering bullets from the last phase. Good, good, good. We got him. Nice. Now let's hope we can get this done as well. Cool. I forgot it made us actually do that. Right. Come on, dude. Come on. I'm going to get you. Oh, I got hit straight away there. Oh, we got the unfinished gun. Nice. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got him. Got that key. All right, come on, you. You can't best me. <laughs> Hit his attack. There's some attacks that I always, like, like know not to go for the supers on, or the ones that I always will. Damn it. He got me. And he healed up. Come on, bastard. Don't do this to me. I need one super, come on. Just give me a chance, an opportunity to get a super. Oh my god, he healed again. Please no. Come on, just give me one chance to get a super, please. Come on, do it. Damn it. He's a bastard. Damn it. Ah, I had double hit by accident. I'm, I'm not going to get four keys now. I had the chance to get four keys. And I buggered it. Okay, he's a super on him there straight away. Another super on him there. Oh, how come he keeps doing that? What the hell? He's a bastard. We've got five seconds to kill him here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. 
I got him at the last second. Look, it literally says boom. It says boom and I got him. Yes! That was so lucky. Oh, look at your robot little dance, you cute little fella. Oh my god, we got the four keys. Yes. Oh my god. Very nice. Very nice. We also got Clarity Ring, which I'll take. Hey, 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 hey. For those of you that haven't seen the rat, I can talk to him again, I think. Oh no, he's just dead. Oh well, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a lot of hearts there. But nah, my god. We did it. We did it. Ah. Right. So. We can either... Try... Should we do the advanced dragon now? Or is that a bit risky with a robot? It's probably a bit risky with a robot, isn't it? But we have the Chloranthi ring. We do have powerful weapons. Um... Right. We can take hearts with this guy as well for some reason. Let's try it, shall we? Uh, so, if we if we blank, let's kick you over here. Right, we'll open the first one, and then we'll throw that, 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 and that. We can also feed him the body, but I really didn't want Booker Chestnut at me. It's terrible. And we'll open the rest of these chests, make sure none of them are mimics. One of them is a mimic. That's actually really good for us. So we've got the rat sack. We've got the rat boots. We've got the cheese gun. And we got the Pac-Man wheel. We are the rat. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Thank God we got a mimic there. Right, down to the next floor. This is a, a very um, a very good episode for unlocks, isn't it? A very good episode indeed. But also now, probably the best thing about this is we now have two forms of invincibility in the partially eaten, eaten cheese and the ring of ethereal form, which is amazing for us because that basically guarantees us the win <laughs> um, or against the advanced dragon, which is really nice. Right, so what we're going to use for room clearing here, probably just use the Thunderclap. Thunderclap's pretty good. If you're wondering what I mean by the advanced dragon, this little dragon that's following us here, um, we fed him and he'll carry, he'll follow us around. Then when we get to the dragon, you'll see what I mean. Oh, that's all I'm going to say. You'll see what I mean. Also, with the damage we have. It's going to be pretty dope. Lots of unlocks here. Lots of unlocks indeed. Also... We can use the. Uh, I'll show off the. Uh, I'll show off the cheese gun and, and the rat items because I haven't done this save file yet. I don't like them personally because you can get these every single run. And I think they're really overpowered, but they are fun for the first few times you use them. Definitely, it's just when you when you get them like ten times in a row, they become a little less fun and a little more instant win buttons, which I'm not as big of a fan of. But whenever we're feeling unsafe, we just go into a Pac-Man and we eat everything in the room. Thank you, and it makes us invincible. It's really, really powerful, and it lasts for a really long time as well. But yeah, as you can see, oh my god, I got hit there. As you can see, this cheese just like freezes everything to the point where it can't hit us, and it has infinite ammo. The rat boots let us walk over gaps, and the, the rat sack, this one, lets us throw projectiles back at enemies, and also, like, uh, gives us like four extra carry capacity. It's really overpowered as well. All in all, pretty OP. Pretty OP. I'm going to use the Deckard for some room clearing, you know. It didn't kill them guys in one hit, you know. So, I'm actually... I've actually had a change of heart. Back to the Winchester. That was doing us good for... That was tried and true for a long time. Tried and true. This episode name. I, shall I just do like a ridiculously long episode name for this one? I was thinking like, I was just going to call it like Bullets Past Complete or something like that. But now I'm like, I kind of have to do Bullets Past plus uh, Rat plus High Dragon plus this plus that. It's going to be a really long title. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do like the world's longest title. If 
We just got to, we we just got to be aware that we are still the robot, so we 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 do still take armor damage, even though we look like the resourceful rat. We do still like only have armor to work with here. Um, I'm gonna go back to the thunderclap. I was enjoying that gun. Let's just get this going. Thank you. All of you get eaten. Lovely. Some more ammo, thanks. And we got this first challenge. The club. We have to beat this room by only using this club. Fair enough. We can use our active items though. The club is the worst gun in the game, by the way, in case you're wondering. Oh god. Is that guy like stuck on a table? I think he is. We definitely need more HP than, than we have right now for the, uh... Ah, my god. For the fight here. Whatever we do, do not switch, do not switch weapons. That's the worst thing he could have possibly done. God damn it. We got him, though. We got him. Let's return and see what our reward is. What do you give us? Hazmat Su. We can't get hurt by anything on the ground now. That's really nice. Uh, right. Back to this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna buy some armor if I can in the uh, in the shop or next floor shop as well. Just just for safety, because the advanced dragon is very difficult. Gotta still remember to get the uh, the bullet that can kill the past as well. Gotcha. This could very well be our first death if this doesn't go to plan. I the Beholster, love that gun. Love that gun. Super Space Tail, love that bro. Love that bro. Nice, right. What else we got on this floor? We still do have a lot of armor. I'm saying it like we don't have much. We do still have a lot and a lot of armor. This is gonna be a hella long run as well, by the way. Hella long run. What you got for a shop? Nothing of note. Great. Uh, you have a key, though. Nah, I'm not even gonna buy it. Yeah, actually, I'll buy a key. I'll buy it. I was gonna say I'm not gonna buy a key. I will. I will. Do you need some armor, though? Give me some armor to buy. Our little rat fella. I really hope it registers as the robot kill, even though we're dressed as the rat. I'm pretty sure it does, though. That'd be really weird if it didn't. Uh, wonder what boss we've got here. Go with that or the sling. Nah, this thing's this thing's definitely better. Oh, why, why do I keep missing? I keep like aim assisting just next to them rather than on them. Nice, that interrupts our attack patterns. Please say I get this flawless as well. I really want it. I really want it. This will interrupt their attack. Nice. It killed two of them at once there as well. Two bears, one stern there. Nice. Super Space Tail finished it off. He gets all of our damage buffs, so he's he's basically a walking god right now. And we got bouncy bullets, which is even better. Nice, 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 nice. Right. Go with this. Actually, go with the Iber Holster. That's going to be cool, pretty cool with bouncy bullets. Nothing else we need in this floor, is there? There is this room here, but... We'll ignore that, and let's go down. Oh god, I'm feeling good about this. Just the, the fact that we've got so much capability for invincibility, and both of the invincibility types we have allow us to shoot. Like, it's just... It's gonna be good. It's gonna be absolutely tickety-boo fine. I love the giant baby things that we get spawned here for us. This thing should be pretty ammo efficient for us as well, which is nice. Still no Cape Bulletkin though. Piece of armor drop, that's beautiful. Still no Cape Bulletkin, which is a shame. That would be that would be another thing to add to the list of many, many things that we have accomplished on this run. If we get that done as well, I'd, I'd feel like this is the best run ever in terms of progression.
Rooms like this always scare me when they've got tons of uh, bullikins. I'm always like, Kate Bullikin, Kate Bullikin, don't accidentally kill the other Kate Bullikin. There you go. Oh, yeah. I just stole all of those shots as well to fire right back at his ass. Right back at him. See if it's best out, you get him. You get him, kid. You know you can do it. Nice. He d20'd. Lovely. He rolled a d20. Luckily, he's pretty weak to our... Our big, big shots. Our big boy shots. Unfortunately, we don't have the chance to go to bullet hell on this run either. Because we have to go and do the past. Remember to pick up the bullet and kill the past. Gotta remember that. I always like to remind myself when I get to this floor. Because I am forgetful. You guys probably know this already by the fact that I've already accidentally, like, missed floors a few times. Like, secret floors by forgetting. Helix, that's, again, fine. It's actually a decent boss killer, so I'll take it. Give me some ammo for this thing, though. That's what I want. That's what I want to see. Oh, God, one of them spawned real close to me, then. Hello, sir. You mind backing off of my face? Because I don't want your love. Ow. I got hit there. That was a bad hit. Oh god, there's a guy like imbued in fire in that corner there that I didn't see. Right, uh, let's switch over to... This thing. Oh my god, there's a guy right in my face there as well. What the hell? Give me some personal space, please. Switching weapon and he's just like there. Hello, sir. Should be using my um, Pac-Man wheel a little more often, to be fair. My own fault for getting hit. She's not paying enough attention, am I? Like, now I'm just going to use it. I don't want to deal with any of these enemies, so I'm just going to do that. <laughs> and not deal with any of them at all. Just decide to not deal with any of them at all. Again, bad hit. Really bad hit. Stop spawning on me. This is not a great weapon for this, to be honest. Let's use the cheese gun a bit, shall we? Let's just cheese it up. Cheesing it up on a Saturday night. Okay, you do not... Oh, Kate Bullikin! Right, 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 right. we got to be real careful here. No, no, no. Space turtle, you cunt! I thought you were my child. Turns out you're just a bastard. You absolute shithead Super Space Turtle. You horrible, horrible, horrible little turtle. You have no idea, no idea how upset I am with you right now. You are going on the naughty step for the rest of your life. God damn it. You could have had the bullet unlocked there and Super Space Turtle was like, I am the only child you ever need. Love me. I will kill my siblings. God damn it. We had it. We had the bullet unlocked right there and then, guys. Right there and then. It's Super Space Turtle. <laughs> you just... <laughs> killed him in cold blood. In cold fucking blood. God damn you. I have rat boots. Why did I even roll that? <laughs> I forgot about that. Please say we get another one this route, this floor. I don't think we will. The rare enough as it is, but my god, I'm, I'm upset now. That was really upsetting. That was really just like a, a crushing blur. <laughs> you just had to, didn't you? I should have just dropped the item. That's what I should have done. Stop him from being as savage as he was. That fateful night. Right. 
Right. We've got like one or two more rooms to get the one last capekin. Hello. Give me the bullet that can kill the pest. <laughs> Thank you. Give me a radiated lead and a piece of armor. Thank you. Now let me wallow in shame. Right. So, first phase. I reckon we go with the Deckard. <laughs> Try not to get hit on this phase. This phase is the same as same as always. Same as it always is. Apart from the fact that it's got the little serpent helping him by firing shots every now and again. Right, I'm just gonna do this here. I don't feel comfortable with you. Right. She's invincibility as and when we think we need it. Shouldn't need it too much this phase, I hope. This phase is fairly easy. Okay, good. That's done. Right. Now we, we, we don't need a heart killer, so we, we, can, we can stop worrying about that. Let's get out the mass shotgun, I think, is going to be the best for us. And get out this... I tried to do it. I pressed the Pac-Man wheel. I pressed it, and it didn't have it. There you go. He is infused with the power. Infused with the power. Right. Let's just hope we can cycle invincibilities quick enough. I think we will be able to cycle invincibilities quick enough, you know. Or, or, or at least very near to. That was nice. Right, this is this is going insanely well. Insanely well. We we basically don't have to worry about him dealing damage to us ever. Which is nice. Very nice indeed. And also we're dealing so much damage with this smash shotgun, it's insane. Oh damn, I got hit. What a shame. There you go. <laughs> Well, this was trivial. <laughs> that was so trivial. Nice. Very nice indeed. What's well, the advanced dragon done? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Holy grail unlocked. Battery bullets unlocked as well, apparently. I thought you had to beat the pass for battery bullets to be unlocked. Blank personality unlocked, which isn't blank personality, but yep. Something's wrong with Holy Grail there, but we just unlocked Holy Grail. I think if we open out our Manomicon, we should see that we unlocked Holy Grail. A lot of unlocks here. A lot of unlocks. Still says blank personality, but that's definitely Holy Grail. Uh, right. Let's um, go through here. We definitely have the bullet that can kill the past. Cool. Let's go do the past. Oh, also, do you want to see something cool? Yep, as the rat, you can fly out into space wherever you want. <laughs> All of this is walkable ground for some weird reason. Right. Let's get this pass done. This pass is one of the easiest, so we should be fine for this one. I think you've got to kill the last human or something like that. Let's see how we do. I really wish they would have added, like, a resourceful rat past if you were if you were like had the rat skin and you could go down and do his past i think that'd be really really cool but unfortunately alas we cannot well let's do it robots past we're coming at you 
Empress Arena, the past, 177 years, 117 years prior. Match. Let's do it. Well, look at how long, just, just all, the, all the human skulls. Ah, my finest warrior. You have put to slaughter more humans than any other our kind. Have earned our highest honor. We have captured the leader of the human resistance, the last hope of humanity. And it is ye who shall crush her and finally put an end to this insignificant rebellion. Now, dissemble her. Follow protocol. Right, so basically, the reason this is like a fairly easy fight is the fight itself is fairly easy, but also you start with such a good weapon and you start with your, um, you start with your ability to, um, like, set or set like electrifier is what I'm trying to say. She just teleport and spawn a little terminator guys, but they're not too big of a problem. Big of a problem, to be honest. Go away, terminators. As you can see, they're kind of little bitch boys. They're kind of little bitch boys. And you get so much ammo as well. Look at all the little beds and stuff. Look, little cheap, cheap. Little cheap, cheap. Gotcha. Robot's left hand unlocked. There you go. Like I said, one of the easiest paths in the game. By far. The killbot army will clean up the remaining vermin. Our purpose now fulfilled. Further functions not required. Entering low power mode. Boom. Everyone shut off. Hey, hey, look at our happy little friends. Our little buddies. And he gets turned off. There we go. What a fucking run that was. What a run that was. We beat the rat early we beat the advanced dragon early and we um beat the robots pass unfortunately we still didn't unlock the um we still didn't unlock the the bullet shame because we're, we're literally one off we're gonna have to unlock him next run uh let's just do a, a run like next one focused on unlocking the elevators i suppose and then the bullet will eventually come to us but yes that was amazing what a good run look that's complete now Lovely. Absolutely loving it. And what do you have for us? Space friend. Um, and broccoli. We can't afford broccoli. They're the last three things in the shop. We've almost completed the shop without having any of the other NPCs unlocked yet. There's like three other NPCs that we still haven't found yet. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this run. This went really, really well. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one.